equation that we're going to solve right now, it's 3x plus 2y equals negative 6. Now, remember, the, solve, uh, the whole purpose of this activity is to solve for y. So the first thing that I'm going to do is establish my goal, which would be, I want to know what y is equal to. So the first thing that I want you to notice is that we have two things that we need to cancel. We need to cancel the number 2, that is the coefficient for y, and we need to cancel 3x. Now in this case, since y is the variable that we want to leave alone, or we want to isolate, what we are going to start by is to canceling the 3x. Here's where some of the confusion starts. We don't want to cancel only the 3, we want to cancel 3x. So in order to do that, I have to do the opposite, which in this case will be negative 3x. Now remember our rule, what we do to one side, I do to the other. And this is what will happen. I have now 3x cancel. What I have left on this side would be 2y. And on this side, I have two unlike terms. I have a number and a, a term with the x variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write both of them without making any operations next to each other. So negative 3x, negative 6. My next step now is to get rid of the number 2. If I want to get rid of the number 2 now, uh, Again, I want to separate the 2 and the y. I will have to do the opposite. So what is the number 2 doing to y? Multiplying. So the inverse operation would be divide. So I divide by 2. Now, don't forget that on the other side, you must divide each one of your terms. So what would happen now is that we have our number 2s are going to be canceled. Here, we cannot make a division. We have negative 3 divided by 2. So that is not really a problem. What we can do is just put negative 3 over 2, leave it as a fraction, x. And then I have negative 6 divided by 2. Negative divided into a positive equals a negative. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And this will be my final answer.